so it is lunchtime today and we are in the town of Villa General Belgrano. Because this is a very German town, we've decided to find a German restaurant and order up some German food. So we saw a few of our favorites on the menu, we've placed our order and that should be arriving soon. All right, Sam, so you've been mastering the name of this restaurant. Where are we having We're lunch today? At El Sierro Rojo. And what does and that mean? A big red deer, and I'm going to show it to you right now. Over there. So we couldn't have a German meal without a little bit of beer. This is actually an Argentinian beer. Eisenbeck. <laughs> Pour the Eisenbeck, Sam. That looks refreshing. Refreshing. It's time to try it. Salud. Salud. That's awesome beer. You know what? They have some of the best craft beers I've ever tried here in this particular region of Argentina. Mm -hmm. This one isn't craft, but it's pretty good, isn't it? Yes. And we're just so hungry. But we're munching down on the complimentary palitos, which are sticks. Little sticks. Little bread sticks. Alright, so the food has arrived. What are you having today, Sam? This is the meal I've been waiting for. I've had this once here in town and mm -hmm. it's awesome. So it's goulash on top of spetzla. And spetzla is like a kind of a German egg noodles. Yes. They're delicious. So good. The best part is look at all this cheese they've given me. It's time to sprinkle it all on. Wow. <laughs> you just dumped it in there. Yeah, I don't mess. Let it melt. I don't mess around with my cheese, friends. Alright, now it's time to finally try it. I know the noodles don't look the most appetizing. They look like little worms, but they are so, so good. Those are the tastiest little worms you're ever going to have in your whole life. <laughs> and the thing that makes it so good is mm -hmm. that the beef in the goulash is mm -hmm. really tender and the sauce is delicious. So it just, yes. as soon as you put it in your mouth, it just starts melting Melts. right away. So you're going to share that with me, right? Probably not. I think you got the, the better dish out of the two we ordered. I win, you lose. Oh, look at that. Look at that cheese. What you got over there? All right, so I ordered a sausage with chucrut. This is chucrut, and it's a lot like um, sauerkraut. They it just looks use so much like sauerkraut. A different name for it here, and this is a, a boiled pork sausage. I think in German this one's called knackwurst. So it makes a bit of a, a crunchy sound. A knack. 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 It's really nice. I just love the sauerkraut. I think that's my favorite part of the meal. It's just so sour. <laughs> oh. Wow. Deep revelations over here. Mm -hmm. mm. In the kind hubby bubby dubby, shared a little bit with you. Yes, I was experiencing food envy. Massive food envy. Not just that's a, a very dangerous thing. <laughs> just a little bit. Intense, intense mm. food envy. The meat is just so soft, like you don't even need a knife to cut it. It just breaks apart in your mouth. You don't even need to chew it. Mm. Just let it disintegrate. I kind of disagree there. I think you do need to chew it a little <laughs> bit before you swallow. Uh. But like this is my favorite German dish. It's apparently Swabian, but it's popular in other parts of Europe. Apparently Hungary also claims that it's its Good. Also claims it as its own dish. So yeah, kind of like a, a German Hungarian meal over here. Very hearty, very filling. Probably not the best on a really hot summer day. I mean, this would be a great winter dish, <laughs> but it's so tasty. We just had to get it. Hmm. So we polished off the goulash, the sausage, the spätzle, the beer. How are you feeling? Yes, we did. Uh, I'm feeling great. I'm full. <laughs> very Stop. full. Stuff to be the yeah that's that's the word that's the word all right how about we talk about the price point what was the cost of this meal so the cost of this meal wasn't cheap it was 150 pesos for mine and 130 for yours and 
there's been there's been really high inflation in Argentina in the uh -huh. past few years, and the prices have skyrocketed. So, I mean, you're not going to get cheap meals here if you're eating around the center of town, but the quality of the food is is really good, though. Okay, so if we had to convert that into U.S. dollars, can you give us an average? Like fifteen fifteen dollars per plate, more or less. Yeah. And then the beer is like six seven dollars for a liter. 